Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be going just straight head first into the world of dark romances. Uh, we're going to go start from maybe the uh, most tame dark romance into some that will have you questioning whether or not you need therapy afterwards. So I will give you uh, different content warnings as we go along, but they are very heavy topics and a lot of different traumatic topics. So if at any point you need to stop, I will put a very cute K-pop romance down below for you to switch over to and just take your mind off of it. And uh, the first one that we're gonna start off with is a mafia of romance. It is The Woman with the Flowers by Jessica G Gonzalia, if I said that correctly. It's a standalone, so you do not have to read the other ones to read this book. But basically the content warnings here are, there's a attempted assault and there is a hoarding, uh, which is vividly descriptive in this book but it's also it's a, a mafia dark romance but for my personal opinion this is probably one of the lighter mafia romances that i've probably like ever read basically there is a woman named uh vika that lives in a town who works in a flower shop and she just so happens to be one where the mafia works out of the back and a man named caesar shows up one day tattooed the whole nine yards what we what we love to see in our usual mafia romances are tattooed men the lady is very anxious as well too she has a lot of triggers from her past from the hoarding situation basically her grandmother went to a really big depression and their home became filled and filled and filled her husband her grandpa left or died i can't remember exactly which one but basically she became started to buy things in order to cope with what happened but it's a decent book i will say i give it a 3.5 stars but, but basically the ending wasn't the best because the mafia man they went to go um rescue vega from the situation that happened and her cousin basically took over like knew how to use a gun and did all these things and went and rescued vega while the mafia man quite literally just stood there and didn't do much of anything this is a very mild mild uh dark romance it's almost what even really classified as dark but there are some themes of like the hoarding and violence that would be difficult to read. So this next one is by Ruby Dixon, Ice Planet Barbarians. It is a sci science fiction romance, dark romance. And this one, the only reason I read this one is because it was popped up in different uh, videos that I watched. It's on, like on TikTok as a great story. So I thought, let me read this one. This one has a big content warning. Uh, it is an older book, but it does have content warnings now. But basically, aliens uh, kidnap these women and take them uh, back to their home on their spaceship. This one, I did not finish. Uh, it opens up with a bang. The aliens kidnap women, and it opens up with the rape of a woman. This is also a mate's romance, which is used to hide the dubious consent in this book, which is also a fancy, fluffy term for rape. Dubious consent is a kink. It is a rape kink. Uh, that is something that I think gets glossed over a lot with dark romance, which is one of the reasons why I typically don't read dark romance. I very rarely ever read any kind of science fiction monster romance. This is the first time in many years. It's just not my thing, but I do like dark romance, like angsty stuff. But when it comes to non-consensual sex, it's just a hard no for me. That is something that probably really bothers me about the dark romance category is that I feel like we need a separate category for the for this level of a sexual encounter. This next one, you definitely, definitely, if you do not like a assault kink, this, these next two books are absolutely not for you. This next book was quite literally uh, removed from Amazon because of the content and nature of it. This one is Haunting Adeline, a cat and mouse duet book. This is book one. There is a second book. There is a cliffhanger, uh, but I, I'm honestly not going to read the second book. Just this one was hard enough to get through for me personally. But the content warnings include non- non-consent, dub con, graphic violence, human trafficking, child trafficking, rape scenes, uh, mentions of death of children. He plays bondage. 
and there's also stalking and degradation, which is humiliation basically. This man starts off as the stalker for his leading lady, an apparent love interest. And his reasoning behind stalking this lady is he's never done it before. And he says he wants to um, show this lady the worst parts of, herself, of himself. So if he she falls in love with him as grotesque as he is, when he's this apparently kind, upstanding man, she will love him even more when he turns good. That is the explanation for the stalking, violence, and rape that goes on. Like I said, it's a very heavy book. Um, the only reason I went as far as I did with this book is that the main leading lady has uh, moves into her dead grandmother's house. And then there's sort of this like underlining story of her grandmother was murdered and she needs to find whoever did it because it goes unsolved. And apparently there's ghosts in the house, this sort of thing. He eventually does try to help her solve it and all this stuff. Rapes her, stalks her, and then turns into the good guy. It's a, it's a wild ride, let me tell you. I feel like the one uh, content warning that is not in this book is uh, Stockholm Syndrome. Because he doesn't physically kidnap her, but he mentally kidnaps her. And he does... Um, coerce her and absolutely threaten her into a lot of different situations. But again, if you read this, that is your choice. You read what you want to read. Just make sure you know what you're reading beforehand. This next book is one that I read probably a good uh, almost five years ago, I think at this point, maybe a little less. But it is uh, Mr. Rom Romantic by J.A. Huss. This author I'm not a huge fan of. It uh, very clearly states in this book there is that this is a rape kink it specifically states and uses those words it doesn't like water it down to say not consensual it doesn't use any of those more uh nicer terms for what you're reading it doesn't fully set people up for this type of kink and this type of book that you're going to read which is why i think that people end up leaving bad reviews because they don't fully understand what these are. So this one is the classic like bad guy, good girl one. Uh, there is a man named, what is his name? Nolan, who um, it's, this is book two of a big wider series. Again, you don't have to read this, um, this book in particular or all of the books in the series in any order, they're all standalone. But basically Ivy and Nolan, uh, they meet because Ivy goes to, is tricked into a job interview by one of her family member or one of his family members that they, neither one of them is aware of, but basically they meet, he wants to hook up, she wants to hook up, you know, it is a, um, she, a virgin kink as well, which she had, loses her virginity to this man. It's honestly, she doesn't tell him she's a virgin that sort of thing. This man's backstory is that he was once accused of rape um, when he was in college. He is an artist. He draws out photos and pictures of what he wants to do with women and shows them. And then someone used those photos basically to accuse him of rape when it's uh, he's never actually raped anyone. That is just part of the fantasy that he wants to do apparently. And that's the kink. And I think the author did a good good job of towing the line between is this really uh is this really uh non-consensual is this not the story itself is good enough for me i've read it i think twice now i did skip over the uh sexual scenes personally but other than that if you remove the sexual content the rest of the story isn't that bad if you want to hear about more books that i love that will <laughs> i don't think will trigger you but Maybe there's some warnings in there. One of my latest and newest books that I really, really love is one of Anna Wong's series of books, King of Sin. Click right here and you won't be disappointed.